Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to have another go at one of these pours. So it's a Catherine Wheel uh, flip cup pour where I put the fog tape down as little dividers to separate the panels, did the flip cup and then til tilted some paint off. Um, but the lines weren't straight the, the sorry the curved lines didn't keep their shape they went all wiggly so um, between where the divide between the different panels of paint instead of a beautiful curve it went really wiggly really distorted so i had to embellish it and put down the the um, these dark blue lines just to try and sharpen it up so i have prepared another canvas i'm going to go again exactly the same but my plan is to tilt off as much paint as possible this time um, so it's gorgeous new colours and um, real contrast I'm going to go for this time um, to see what effects I get. So let me show you the colours. Here are the colours that I'm using. So you can see three pinks and a white for some of the panels and then three blues and silver for the other panels. So if I go through what I'm using, I've mixed this colour with Am between Amsterdam Primary Magenta and Permanent Red Violet. Um, it just looked a little bit too similar to this one when it was just the Primary Magenta. So I added this one just to darken it up a bit and it's just created this beautiful, beautiful rich colour. Then I've got um, Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. I've got li Amsterdam Light Rose. I've got um, some uh, Pearl White by Dela Rowney. Pebio Studio Acrylic Silver. Amsterdam Primary Cyan. This one here is Amsterdam um, White with this one here, Cerulean Blue. And then I've got Pebio Studio Ac um, Acrylics um, Prussian Blue. So they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. I make my own pouring medium, two parts PVA glue to one part water. And then I've mixed all of the paints approximately five to four. So five parts pouring medium to four parts paint. Um, and then the ingredient I'm going to put in to make the cells is this um, coconut milk anti-breakage hair serum. So that's the oil that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in two or three drops in each cup and that's what will create the cells. So I've divided my colours into two groups. So I've got the blues and the silver. I've got the pinks and the pearl white. So the plan for the um, pour will be this, a spiral of alternating colours, the blues and then the pinks. So I'm going to layer up four little cups of each colour, so eight in total. Um, <clears throat> so let's start with the blues. I'd quite like to get two rows of each colour. Um, in each cup so I'm just going to do a little layer of each So my canvas is 30 centimetres. Um, you can see the frog tape. So to make these frog tape um, dividers, I, in fact, let me get a piece and I can show you. This is frog tape. Um, it's painter's tape. So the idea of the tape is that you can put it on surfaces and then pull it up and it doesn't leave a sticky mark. So to each one of these, I got my tape and I just very carefully folded it over like this so I'm left with just a very small sticky part to the bottom and then the folded over part at the top which isn't sticky I've made little tiny cuts in that sticky part and then very carefully put it put the sticky part down on the canvas and then the the, the dry the non-sticky bit sticks upwards so these lovely flaps now I've used the really deep frog tape this this one is it, it's deep this one's a bit shallow. I've used a deeper one than this so that these barriers are quite high. And that's deliberate because I'm going to have quite a lot of paint on here. Um, and I, when I tilt it, I don't want the, um, the paint to tip over the edge of the barriers. I've also put down 
um, a border of tape around the edge and the reason for that is because when I put the paint down in these corner panels um, I was finding with the last one I put the paint in here and it just fell off over the edge whereas I need to tilt it all the way around this corner so I've got the border on for now I'll put the paint on tilt it around then take the edges off I think um, so the last one um, as it dried the the lines the nice curved lines have gone wavy and that's because there's different amounts of paint in each of these sections so to try and help with that I want to tilt off as much of this as I can um, so where do we start so I'm going to put alternate put the cups in alternate um, uh, compartments compartments is that the word partitions sections It got caught on the bit of frog tape. The blue ones, these are narrower. There we go, all down. And then I'm simply just going to lift it up. Um, I think I might tilt it. I think it might move it over towards here. And then yeah, just let it drain out. I think last time I did a few little lines. I think I'm just going to do the same again. They won't show because by the time all the cells pop up, um, they'll yeah, all the any lines will be uh, will be disappearing. I'm going to try and get this one. I was going to try and get it around the corner here, but I failed that. Right, all paint is on the canvas. So now let's start tilting. So just going to tilt in every direction until every bit of canvas is covered. I've got to do it quite slowly. I've got to really concentrate on every single puddle here because I'm tilting to, to cover one, whereas another one, the paint is just filling up the barrier. Um, I've really got to concentrate. all of the canvas is covered so what I will do next is take off this edge tilt again just to get a little bit more of the canvas um, to get a little bit more paint off the canvas And then I'm going to just keep tilting just to try and lose some of the, the weight of this paint.
Right, I have tilted off quite a lot there. I'm quite pleased with that. Right, there's definitely more cells in the blue than the pink. The cells are quite small, but that's what I expected. That's what I wanted. So let's now take these up. So they're all half pieces except for one, which is that. That's a whole continuous piece. So I'm just going to take them up one by one, picking it up from the middle and moving it towards the edge, doing it as quickly as I can in case it wants to drip that will just hopefully stop it dripping Right, let's just give that a minute and see if those colours come together. Right, so it's been a few minutes, the colours haven't come together, so I'm just going to give it a little helping hand. Um, so I'm just going to, while I can see the pink needs to move over, I'm just going to very gently pull it over with the stir stick. I absolutely love it. So happy with the colours, pink and blue. You just can't go wrong. So at the end, I made a little change. You could see I added the wiggly lines and not because I prefer them, but because I just think the straight lines won't stay straight or the curved, the perfect curve won't stay curved. Um, so I've given it this kind of fluted edge. I don't normally like doing things like that. I don't normally like wrecking things, but I just think it might be a little bit more forgiving as the paint moves, as it dries, because I can see the unevenness. I can see there are dips, there are highs and lows in this paint. So I know 100% it's going to move as it dries. It's going to level out as it dries. So I just felt by giving it a slightly um, wavy line, I think that will... Um, that will that will hide the bend as it as it bends and moves as it dries um I could be wrong but i actually really like the effect of it i think it's really pretty um really love it the cells are gorgeous just what an unusual painting um yeah really excited i'll be back when it's dry it's actually worked it hasn't moved it stays i'm sure it stayed exactly the same as when it was wet um so less paint on the canvas really is the absolute key to this painting. Um, I'm really happy with these little wiggles. I would like to have seen what it would look like if I hadn't have done the wiggles and just kept the straight lines. Maybe that's something for next time to have the confidence just to leave the, the actual curves and not the wiggles with less paint on the canvas and just to see if that helps it to hold its shape. Um, these cells are beautiful. Lots of silver cells there, pink and white cells. The contrast really, really works. Um, pink and blue, you, yeah, that contrast is just is just huge. So it really, really works. So you're in no doubt what design this is. Um, really happy with it. The blue almost looks quite watery, quite um, like some turbulent water, some bubbles. Um, 
really pretty and obviously the colour just goes over the edges really beautifully. Um, it's quite iridescent, let me show you the shine on it because you can see all that silver um, really sparkling. Um, yeah, so really happy. I would definitely say this has worked. I'm happy. Um, great. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you think of the painting. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.